Hey folks, it's Dr. Curtis. So, wouldn't you know it, you're on a one week no sugar challenge. And it never fails, you might be at the office and somebody's gonna bring stuff to eat. And you feel obligated, like it's here, I gotta eat it. And then people on a no sugar challenge will bring an entire cobbler, this like ginormous cobbler. I'm so proud of my team, because look, it has no bites sticking out of it. But what I'm getting at is you're gonna run across things that uh, are gonna be out in front of you. And it's not something you know you should eat, not something you wanna eat. Sometimes you just have to decide, I'm not gonna do that today. And usually if you'll just simply walk away from it, it, it won't, you know, you won't be craving it anymore. And if you are craving things, eat more protein, eat some good fat, uh, drink some tea with a little bit of coconut oil in it. These kind of things that fat tends to satiate or you know, take away that intense hunger that some people get. And sometimes whenever we're stressed, we're gonna feel like wanting to eat this kind of stuff. Like this yummy cobbler here. If this is gonna make you feel bad, it's gonna raise your blood sugars. It's not what we should be eating. So, hey, be aware. Sometimes uh, things are gonna be put in front of you. You gotta decide, not today.